Well, hey, and welcome to Clean Coffee episode 8. We've recently launched that our company Nuka Solutions have entered the Netherlands and gotten billions on board there and they are now potentially entering China with a big project. This digitalization of the billing industry is an interesting topic and one that we think have only just begun. I sent Joshua, our communications advisor, to Helsinki to talk to Taya Teppo, who is on the board of Nuka Solutions, our portfolio company in this very space. Check it out. So I'm here with Taria Teppo. She sits on the board of Nuka. And Taria, I guess the first question that people might have uh, about Nuka is why do buildings need to become smart at all? Um, well, just if you look at sort of the Paris Agreement, what actually needs to happen? And, and if you look at sort of where are we, every, you know, where is everybody? Everybody's in the cities, but actually where we spend the days we in the buildings, whether we're at home or whether we're in the office. And, uh, and buildings are actually a really big part of this puzzle. If you look at 40% of um, all global energy worldwide is used in buildings. I think something like 25% of water use happens in buildings. Um, so it's not, it's not just about energy, but now if we concentrate on, on um, the energy use and, and, and sort of resources use in general, and if you look at what Nuka does for buildings, um, as you said yourself, you know, where does where are the brains? Um, and um, and buildings are sort of the brains here. But but uh, but currently these brains are not really utilized in a smart way. Or the brains are actually not utilized at all. So the different Like a few diff- humans we might yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> So the bits and pieces are there. So the whole idea of Nuka is that let's not carry more stuff into the buildings and here with stuff I mean sort of um, building automation equipment of course you do need that but we've actually uh, filled our buildings with a lot of automation equipment that produce a lot of data that nobody is able to analyze at the moment Um, buildings actually getting more and more complex Um, but nobody's really utilizing this Um, um, and this is where Nuka comes into the picture and and the the sort of analogy that we use oftentimes it brings the brains from the seller from the experts to the users so it's able to um to um, collect all the data from different equipment that's already in the building um installs a few sensors as well Um, but it analyzes this data that it it gathers the data in real time analyzes what's actually going on um, in your building and uh, and sort of then filters that down to different stakeholders so that they can be smarter that they can actually sort of start using the brains of the building so it's actually buildings are becoming these organisms that 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 used to be part of sort of the 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 energy utility network um, but now with distributed networks buildings are a very central part of this as a company, how is it going to grow? What, why do you think it's going to be such a, a, a good uh, clean tech case. business? Yeah. yeah. Well, the um, it's actually that's that's this is an important point because because the um, when you typically look at growth, that that oftentimes people think, well, you know, if you're going to have your solution used more widely, you know, you gonna you need to go and get sort of more, you know, more users, more buildings online. Well, this is obviously what the company is doing, that it's, you know, it's, it's getting used by more and more um, building owners um, and uh, building managers out there. That's one way of growing. So you can look at it this sort of like, like a 3D thing. Mm-hmm. So this is sort of the obvious thing, you know, we get sort of more buildings connected to the Noka platform. But the other aspect of it is that that the many of the current owners uh, whose buildings are in Nuka, so they have um, several thousands of buildings under management, but they may have 
you know, five buildings or 20 buildings of their whole portfolio currently mm. connected to Nuka. They sort of getting comfy with this, that, you know, mm. what are the benefits, you know, when do they get sort of these, the consciousness and Ooh. the brains. Look out. So, so this is sort of, you know, okay, so it's, you know, we're getting more buildings, but then also the current owners are adding sort of more and more of their portfolio. But the, the, uh, the third aspect, which I think is sort of the most interesting and actually sort of provides for this what we look at as quite very rapid growth um, is that as I described buildings are getting more and more complex mm -hmm. so if we started from 10 measurement points and then the following year was 100 measurement points and then it was thousand and you know it just keeps on going that so so the buildings that we already have there um, are gonna have much more sort of measurement points that that you use sort of the Nuka platform to to measure and analyze and so forth. So the growth actually comes from that it's actually used much more widely um, in the building, which obviously from monetary terms means that you know the the value of a of a building in Nuka revenue goes mm -hmm. up because it's it's providing much more services. So it's actually the growth comes from two different directions at the same time. So. That's why we believe it's a very powerful growth case. Buildings have a brain? Wow! <laughs> well, that's good to hear, Tarja. Thanks for interviewing, Joshua. Uh, I was going to advertise our event, The Sexy Truth, here, but in reality, it has been sold out. Completely full. We have, however, a waiting list, so you could check that out, and we might even do an after party. Plus, we will be live streaming on Facebook due to popular demand. High definition TV of the sexy truth on Facebook. So check that out. I gotta take this call. Okay, bye.